Coach PJ here. Ever wonder how folks get things done and make it look effortless? Uh, and that is about not being overloaded, not being stressed. They just take on things and they make it look so easy to get it done. Um, let me tell you a little trick to that. It takes a lot of hard work to make things look easy. Let me describe that a little bit more. The work that goes into making something look easy to, the, to making something look effortless is not insignificant. Um, I get asked this question all the time. I use a series of outsourcing, I use third parties, I use virtual assistants to do some of the work that I don't need to be doing. And it is not high value added for me, but needs to get done. It's routine, it's things that need to be processed, things that I can easily have someone else do. But I don't just hand it over and abdicate it and give it to somebody else and say, get this done. I actually walk them through a process and do it very, very carefully. It takes hard work to get it, to make it look effortless. Let me describe that in a couple of different sec segments. One is I choose those people very, very carefully. I select those folks and I do a selection process often by giving similar work to one, two, or three people at a time to have them provide a, a sample of the work, a subset, so something small, something simple, so that I can begin to understand, do I like the communication that's happening? Do I like the quality of what's being turned around? Do I like the process they're following? Do I feel like they're being efficient in the process? And begin to learn how they work. And from that process, then I'll select down to one or two people and go, I like the way this person works. I like how they process, I like how they think, the quality they're giving me is what I want. And that selection process happens can happen pretty quickly and I give them a set of stuff. I don't just give them one, I give them one, two, three, and I kind of build on that. And I repeat that to see if they can consistently deliver, if the turnaround is what I expect or what I need. And that helps a lot. For example, Recently I had uh, to do some video work and the video work I was doing was to re remove the external noise. And what I had them do was take a, each of them take a different video and renew, remove the noise and, and let me know what that looked like. What I got back was some amazing stuff because I got back from some what exceeded my expectations and others were harder to work with. They asked a lot more questions, they went into details, they were high maintenance, the turnaround was lower, and I very quickly was able to select a, a person, an individual, who could do this work for me ongoing. And then the trick is not to just turn it over and be done, but to have them do it step by step and give them pieces of it at a time, and once they master those pieces, then add more pieces to the puzzle, but not throw everything in the kitchen sink at them and expect them to just figure it out. So I'll often have them do the first one, if I have a process that's like a 10 step process, I'll have them work on the first one or two steps of the process, give it back to me, I'll look through it, I'll finish the rest of the process. Then I'll give them something, I'll do that three, four, five times in a row to make sure that I'm getting what I want consistently and there's no question about the quality and the expectations and the turnaround. Then I'll add step three, step four, and I'll slowly add to it so the type of work and the complexity of the work is built upon. And I know that they're now able to do step three correctly, step four correctly, step five, and I'll work on it that way. And then there's no, no question that they understand what I want, they understand how to do it, the quality's coming through, the process has been built, and I get the results I want. Um, but it takes time, as I said, it it's, takes hard work to make it look easy. And that hard work pays off. In many cases, I've had folks doing all sorts of things for me for years and years and years. I've had both uh, production folks, assistants for five, six, seven years that have done the same kind of work for me, that have been consistent, that I don't have to manage. Some of them I don't even have to talk to, and I mean it in a good way. I we have a process down where I submit stuff, I put it in a drive, I set it up, I send them an email, and the processing happens without me having to describe what I want, engage with them, explain, 
unless there's an exception, unless there's something unusual, most of the work can be done without my guidance or my interference, my engagement on a regular basis. And it makes it very liberating because I don't have to worry about it. I just let it happen. And I know the quality is going to be there because I've been checking on it. And routinely, I will check on it. Every so often, I'll take a look and just make sure. But by and far, I've done that so early on the front end that over time, I don't need to do that. Um, Every so often, they'll change um, a team member or something will change and I will need to course correct. But we've already built the process. We've built how it wants it done. So So the course correction is pretty minor in that space. So if you're looking at outsourcing, if you're looking at using a virtual assistant, if you're looking at that kind of thing, think about front loading and spending the time and the effort to set them up for success, to prove out that they're a great partner, that they're a great resource for you, and that they're gonna work and meet your expectations. That's probably the most important thing. If you like what I had to say today, like, comment, subscribe to my channel below. And if you wanna learn more about this, there's lots of ways we can do that. We can jump on a quick call, we can get together for coffee, or if this is something you really wanna get into, we can, Sit down, look at your business, and put a plan in place to go forward. Your business profit. Until next time.